Hello guys, welcome back to Sea Fashion Academy. Today I'm going to be teaching us how to neatly fix a wet pocket on a bomber jacket. Please, this wet pocket can also be used on other dresses. I want you to make sure you pay attention, watch to the end so as to grab each and everything I've just said here. Also guys, make sure you follow me on TikTok and if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks and may God bless you. Watch to the end. Love you. In order to do the wet pocket, we first need to get where the wet pocket is going to start. Hope you guys understand. We need to get the point at which is going to start so the point which is going to start is going to be around the waist region do you understand let's say on the waistline let's say the waist length now for this particular person is 15 inches do you guys understand so now let's say now look at it as you notice now see if you notice you see that i'm placing the back and the front together that is to make sure i get the beginning part of this top in a situation whereby the back is not involved as you can see when you start here it's very very wrong this is not where this one's supposed to start. So that's why I also had to join both the front and back. Are you seeing it? Now, the next thing you need to do is to get the waist length. The waist length is 15 inches for this particular person. It is 15. Your own might be 16 inches, 17 inches, depending. So now it is, say, 15 inches. All you have to do is to use your stretch rule and drag, like, mark it out. Okay. This is the waist length, where the waist pocket, waist pocket is going to start. Hope you understand. Okay, next thing you are going to do before drafting the wet pocket itself is you need to step down with extra, you need to step down with extra three inches. Hmm? Now, I know some of us will ask, what is this three inches for? Please, it is not for anything. Now look at it, as you can see, I'm drafting another line. Are you seeing it? This is, how do I say, this is the space at which our wet pocket is going to be. Do you understand? It is starting from here and it is ending here. Are, do you understand? That is the, so, like, the surface of the wet pocket. We'll be starting here and we'll be ending here. Now let's do it. Let's mark it out. So, like I said, the work pocket from here to here is 15. Okay. So next thing you need to do is from here. Are you seeing it? Remember, this is the zipper allowance. Are you seeing it? So from here, which is the same thing as when you open it from here, are you seeing it? Make sure you mark out four inches. Are you seeing it? Look at it now. Mark out four inches and make sure it rests on this particular line. The next thing you are going to do, remember, wet pocket, the width is usually how many inches? Who knows how many inches of the wet pocket? Five inches. Do you understand? It now depends on you to either reduce or to also increase. Now, since we are making use of five inches width, now it is starting from here. Are you seeing it? Next thing you need to do is to place your tape here. Yeah? Now, as you place your tape here, make sure you are, make sure that the five inches stops at this three inches line. Are you seeing it? Now, look at it. The five inches stops at the three inches line. If it is like this, it is wrong. If it is like this, it's wrong. Do you understand? So make sure it stops like this. Are you seeing it? So now from here down to this particular place. Are you seeing it? So at the end of the day, what we are going to be doing now is we are going to be connecting with a rule. Are you seeing it? Okay, let's connect. So at the end of the day, now we have gotten the wet pocket itself. Like this is not the whole of the pocket. I hope you guys understand. But the wet pocket is going to start from here over down to this particular point. Hope that one is well understood. Okay. So next thing we are going to be doing after drafting this line is to duplicate it on the other side. It is very very important you do that. Do you understand? Make sure you duplicate it on the other side. Okay. Now look at it, guys. As you can see, place your pin here. You seen the pin? Okay. Now when I say duplicate it on the other side, please, I would like you to know something. This is the bag we just drafted this thing on. The right place for you to draft it permanently, like when drafting, is the front part. Do you understand? So it doesn't matter even if you draft it here. But I'll still advise you if you can directly draft it on the front that is very much okay but if you've drafted your own at the back like this all you have to do is to put your pin here you seeing it then open it up like this now look at it please it's not hard open it up like this now make sure you mark are you seeing it mark like this now as i've marked like this that means it's touching both the like the two parts of the front are you seeing it now look at it guys okay then when you are done make sure you do the same thing here put your pin pass it through Okay, also do the same thing here. Please, if your child cannot do it very well, you can use a pencil. Pencil is the best while doing this thing because pencil will be visible and also it will not stain your work, it will not stain your fabric. Pen is not that safe, but if you know how to make use of that, you can, but it's not that safe, please. So at the end of the day, next thing you have to do, look at it. Okay, by men looking at it, I know most of us will not see it clearly, but it starts from here. You seeing it and ended here. Why this one actually starts from here? You seeing it and ended here. 
So all you have to do is to still take your rule and day. Sorry, still take your rule and day, outline it, draft it out. Okay, for all of us to see it, look at it here from here to here. Are you seeing it? Now do the same thing here. Draft it out. Now, the reason why this is facing this way is because if this is a cloth, look at it, your hand is supposed to be entering through here. Are you seeing it? That is just the reason. Your hand is supposed to be entering through here. Okay, so next thing we are going to be doing now is to... Next thing we are going to be doing now, guys, is to... On this particular point where you have this, do you understand? On this particular point where you have this, you have to use your interfacing. Look at it. You have to use your interfacing. Place it here and go. Do you understand? Do you guys know why we are doing it? Because when we are make, when you be making use of when you be constructing the wet work gate, please, eh, you are going to be cutting out some parts of this material. Thereby, you know, you guys know that this material usually have this time 25 hours here. Do you understand? So before you know it, your material will not start searing. So in other words, it's advisable you gum this. So that when you are cutting it, it's like as if you are cutting a very solid something. Yeah, but it will make your wet pockets come out very, very fine. Do you understand? Okay. Then another thing I see advice us to do is that sometimes this um, interfacing used to be very, very weak. Do you understand? The interfacing used to be very, very weak. So I usually advise my students to make sure they place a hemming gum. Do you understand? Before. Now this is more like... Okay, now look at it, guys. Are you seeing it? Now place it like this and use your iron and the iron. Iron it out. When you place it like this, use your iron and the iron it out. So, guys, as you can see, look at it. We have, we have actually gone there with an interface. Please, I want you to know something. Eh? I want you to know that we have this part and we have the other part. Please, whatever you do on the left side, the same thing you do on the right side. Or whatever you do on the right side, the same thing you do on the left side. Do you guys understand? So I'm going to be basically working on one part. So whatever you do here, please use the same thing on the other side. So in order to do that, we have to separate it. As you guys know, this is um, the zipper allowance. So we have to separate it like this. Look at it. Separate the right from the left side. Okay, so as I'll be teaching us how to do the wet pocket, that means I will have to be working only on the um, one part of it, that is the left part of it. Are you seeing it? Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to get some pieces for the wet pocket. Now, I would like to tell us that these pieces do have measurements which you have to use for them. The first is you need this particular one. Are you seeing it? This one now that you need for the wet pocket, it is the width is usually seven inches. Are you seeing it? Seven inches by three inches. Okay, why you need another one? Are you seeing it? Look at it here. Another one you need is the same seven inches. Please, I want you to know that by 12 inches to 15 inches. Do you guys understand? Depending on the depth of your wet pocket, depending on how deep you want it to be whenever you put the hand inside your pocket. Okay, so that is what you do. Now, if you notice, you now see that I have it like a spare. That is for the left and for the right. So I'm going to keep this one aside because I'm working on only one part of it. Now, by me looking at this, you notice that the color of this and the material is not the same. That, me that means I really chose to use a different thing so that all of us will understand it, so that it will be visible for all of us. So let's start. So one thing you need to do, first of all, is to look at it. You see this same interfacing that we gummed here? You need it here, too, because this web pocket actually needs it. You understand? You need it here. So let's work on that. You need to gum an interfacing. Are you seeing it? But remember what I said. Sometimes all this interfacing used to be very weak. So you need an extra gum on it. That is this, I mean, gum. So guys, look at it. Place it on the iron. Make sure you do the same thing on the other side. So you guys can see I've ironed it. Remember, you can see a, and um, I folded this into two and I ironed it previously. Are you seeing it? That is to help us get the middle part. Now you've gone to this interface. Please, I want you to put it back again, iron, in order for you to get the middle part. It's very, very important, please. Okay. Now we've gotten it. We need to be working on the other side. Look at this side, guys. You need to actually do the same thing here. Okay, gum it out.
Okay, guys. Let's go meet. When you are done coming on this particular one, still remember what I said, you should also get the middle part. It is very, very important. Now we are done with this. As you can see, look at it, we are done. Next thing we are going to be doing is, look at it, it's very, very important, guys. We are going to be remarking out this particular part. Are you seeing the reason why I say, if you like, you can start in front. If you like, you can start at the back. Do you understand? Okay, now look at it's from here down to this particular point okay which is the same thing in front now use your pen and mark it out and get the middle part please i want you to do that mark it out and get the middle part okay let's say this is five inches the middle part should be how many 2.5 okay if this is five inches this is the middle part are you seeing it so if we are to rule anything it should be coming like this are you seeing it so that means you need to place this one are you seeing it like this? Now, I want to let you know something. There are different ways of preparing a wet pocket. But the method I'm going to use now is not the one I'm going to be placing this at the back. Do you understand? Rather, this is going to be coming in front. So let's do that. This is actually 5 inches. Are you seeing it? So the middle part is 2.5. Now look at it, guys. The middle part has to face here. Are you seeing it? Now, see, I want you to know something. This is the damp part, and the longest one is the one facing the damp part. Are you seeing it? So when you place it like this, make sure it is middle to middle. That is center to center. Are you seeing it? Place it like this. Okay. And make sure it's very, very close to the edge of the line. Now, use your pin and a, hold it. Okay? Use your pin and a, hold it like this. Okay, so when you are done doing it like this, next thing you need to do is to take this particular one. Are you seeing it? When you take this particular one, do the same thing, center to center. Are you seeing it? Now look at it, middle to middle. Use your pin and they hold it out. Okay, so you guys can see we are done. So now that you are done, you are no more seeing those lines. If you still want to reduplicate, like, duplicate those lines again look at it from here you mark it out again do you understand but it doesn't really matter we have the center are you seeing it so in other words in order for us to get the lines back all you need to do is from center like this measure what 2.5 are you seeing it look at it. measure 2.5 then from center here also measure 2.5 towards the side now at the end of the day you have it on both sides are you seeing it okay next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be finally like marking out everything i'm concerned about the wet pocket so i want you to know that the thickness of the wet pocket is usually half inch so guys look at it here what i mean by the thickness of the wet pocket are you seeing it from here to here is how many half inch do you guys understand mm -hmm. so that is what i mean by the thickness of the wet pocket which is what half inch okay it's usually half inch so in other words what do the, what does that mean it means that from here, the center to here should be quarter inch. Are you seeing it? Then from the center to this side should be quarter inch. So when we get it, we now have to roll it down. So it will be touching here and there. Yeah. So let's do that, guys. From here to here is what? Quarter inch. Okay, let's mark it out. Here to here is quarter inch. Why from here to here is quarter inch? That means quarter plus quarter gives you half. Okay, now we've gotten the lines. All we need to do now is to take our rule and they connect. Look at it. From here to here. Are you seeing it? Quarter. Then do the same thing here. From here to here. Quarter. Is I want you to know you can make use of this word pocket on any kind of dress that you're making. It's not mostly on bomber jacket. After all, the last tutorial I did on bomber jacket was not this uh, word pocket. It was the other kind of pocket. Okay, now you have gotten this like this. Is I want you to do something. It's very very important. Now you have to go to your machine. So from here, are you seeing it? Please, it is see this particular uh, instruction now is very important that you carry it out exactly. Start from here. Please don't make mistake when you're about teaching. You pass this. Do you understand? If you know that you are going to pass this point, all you have to do is to do what? Do it manually. As you are stitching, just be holding the wheel of your machine. Do you understand? Make sure you don't pass it. In fact, if it is possible, if you stitch from here to here, go back, start again. From here to here, go back. From here to here, start again. Do you understand? Then to get to this point, please don't pass here at the end of the day. Do you understand? 
use the same method for here from here to here please make sure you don't pass because it is going to help you get a perfect wet pocket do you understand at the end of the day we have in here straight here straight so guys that's what we are going to be doing now so we are going to the machine to do that okay okay guys look at it like i said start from here are you seeing it please why sewing this wet pocket make sure you use the stitch length of your machine so as for it not to be too long, let it be tiny because it's very very important it's tiny so as to make this web okay come out very very well and especially when you are back stitching, are you seeing it? okay now look at what I was saying, if you cannot back stitch, all you have to do is when you stitch like this you come back again, are you seeing it? so as not to pass that line, you can come back again, that's also the reason why I say you sh your stitch length should be short okay now when you are done doing that, all you have to do is to continue, are you seeing it? continue on the line then to you reach at this very point okay when you reach at this very point and you think that this thing is going to shift all you need to do is to hold your machine now go back are you seeing it now come back again make sure it's exactly on that point go back again are you seeing it to help you get it to help you get a perfect web pocket okay okay make sure you position it very very well okay this is the same thing you are going to do on the other one as you can see we are done with this particular one it's exactly the same thing you'll be doing on this one. Is I want you to know, it doesn't matter how fast you are. What matters is the end product. Now start again. Okay. Make sure you get it very, very well. Is I want you to know that if you did not do your work pocket very, very well, only the work pocket can spoil the whole dress. Okay, so as we are done, now as we are done, as you can see, now look at it, from, from the back, as you can see, both of them are equal. Are you seeing it? From the back, both of them are equal. So what we are going to be doing now, we are going to be using our scissors to open it up. Okay guys, look at it. We are going to be using this to open up from the center. But in order for us to look, see it very, very well, I would like to do something. I would like to do it from the back. Do you guys understand? In order for you to see it very well. So whether you do it from the back or from the front, it's all the same thing. So, so let's do that. First of all, open it up. Are you seeing it? So as to give you access, so that you can put your scissors. All you have to do is to cut from here. Look at it, guys. Cut from here. When you reach at this particular point, now I know most of us don't know the point which we are going to reach. Is I'd like to let you know that it is from half inch. Do you understand? Let's say from here, half inch to three quarter inch. From the beginning here, this is half inch. Are you seeing it? <laughs> so all you have to do is look at it from here draw a line like this from to the center then draw another line like this to the center are you seeing it this is a notch so let's continue with the cotton so when you reach here all you have to do is to follow this line are you seeing it okay when you follow it like this make sure you reach here please don't exceed it neither do you do it before you understand like you must reach at this point don't exceed it please don't exceed it it's very very bad if you exceed it your work isn't going to come out very very well okay now do the same thing here then after we are done with this side we are going to do it on the other part too are you guys seeing it okay so let's do it on this other part look at what i said from here to here like something like this are you seeing it okay let's continue let me cut this thing out first okay continue cutting when you reach at this particular point as you can see you divert and form a triangle and make sure you don't exceed see look at it at this point are you seeing it okay just be very careful so that your scissors will not mislead you please are you guys seeing it okay now you are done all you need to do is to release your um pin are you seeing it release your pin like this so next thing we are going to do which is very very important is to at this damn part are you seeing it at this part all you need to do is to measure out half inch again because this is the half inch we are going to fold which is this half inch is going to be replaced in here forming the work pocket now look at it measure it out from here are you see from here to here is it not half inch okay mark out how many half inch now do the same thing here from here to here mark out half inch so now we've marked it out we are going to use our rule to connect okay look at it here take your rule and they connect the half inch okay 
so you can see we have connected it all we are going to do now all you are going to do now is very simple guys look at it you are going to be folding it out do you understand on that particular line it is very important you do that in fact you can also use your iron electric iron to do that please fold it out like this make sure you iron it out first of all with your hand before you use the electric iron okay when you are done please check it out again to see whether you actually got it right are you seeing it check it out again something like this okay is make sure you iron it out very very well use the electric iron to do as you can see we are okay with it now so all you are going to do please look at this part it's very very critical you watch very well look at it fold it out like this are you seeing it now look look this is very important look look are you seeing it let me do it again look at it are you seeing it fold from this line so when you are done folding turn it like this see fold hold here are you seeing it hold here now look Okay, as you are holding here, remember, this is actually working with the half inch, which we have folded. Okay, look at it, like this. Are you seeing it? So next thing you are going to be doing now, you are going to be stitching on this very line. Are you seeing it? Okay, if I'm to repeat it again, please guys, so that none of us will be confusing anyway. Look at it, from this half inch, fold it. Are you seeing it? When you fold it, make sure you hold here. Make sure you, are you seeing it? And let the folding go like this. So when you are done, you are going to be placing it like this and sew from here to here. Let's do that. So from here to this very part. Okay, when you are done sewing, I think we're almost there, we're almost there. Look at it, guys. I want you to see it. Are you seeing it? Look at what, we, what you've just sewn now. Are you seeing it? Okay, next thing you are going to be doing, which is very, very simple, is you have to put everything inside. Let's do that. Look at it. Are you seeing it? Put it inside. Inside through the hole. Are you seeing it? Put it inside through the hole. It's as simple as that. So you have, as you have inserted it inside, make sure you balance it out very, very well. Okay? Look at it. Make sure you bring it out very well. Okay. I wanted to show you something. It's really coming out. Are you seeing it? Look at it here. It's coming out. It's very, very fine. Look at it. Okay. Are you seeing it? Please, there's something I really want us to do. There's this error that we usually have. Now, if you look at it, although this is not actually the error, but I want to show you, if you look at it, you see some extra here. Are you seeing it? Sometimes this is an error caused by what I folded in half. Might not be exactly what we cut. Do you understand? So always make sure that whatever you cut, like that time we measured half a um, quarter inch here, quarter inch, make sure it's really half inch is giving you totally. So that when you fold this one, this one should be exactly half inch also. Do you understand? So that it will be able to replace this very one. Please, I want you to know that. So at the end of the next thing you need to do, look at it, guys. Next thing you need to do, are you seeing this part? Please make sure this thing actually fits very, very well. Let me show us something. Make sure you fit it out very well. Are you seeing it? Let me show you. You see the triangle? This is the triangle. Look at it. Let me open it out for all of us. Are you seeing how it is? So now, there's something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be stitching on this triangle like this. Are you seeing it? I'm going to be closing it up like this. Look at it, guys. With my stitch, I'm going to be stitching it up. But before I do that, I would like to make sure that this thing is actually balanced. Look at it. I would like to make sure that it is actually balanced. Okay? Let's place it. Look at what I mean by balance. Look at it. I'm, I'm, I'll make sure that I place it. Are you seeing it? I'll make sure I place it so that it will be coming towards this way. Are you seeing it? Like this. Okay. When, in fact, if it is possible, eh, when you place it like this, eh, use a pin and they hold it if it is possible. Some persons do stitch it. Look at it here. If it is possible. Are you seeing it? Use a pin and they hold it. Okay, let's do that. Now, as you can see, this thing is coming closer. So all you have to do is to stitch. Let's stitch. Please, as you are stitching, make sure you back stitch so that it will be very, very strong. Okay, so as you can see, when you are done stitching it, open it up, you notice that it is now well stitched. Are you seeing it? Looking very nice. So you do exactly the same thing on the other part. It's very, very important you do the same thing. Like I said, 
if the material is some if the material is kind of shaking all you have to do is to play see look look let me show you guys something this is the down one are you saying it this is the one responsible for the upper part eh? all you have to do is to hold this one like this eh? and hold this one like this push it are you saying it is now being placed very well are you saying it all you have to do is see push it like this are you saying it look at it so the next thing you have to do is to use your pin and also hold it out please it is not compulsory you use your pin but instead of you making mistake whereby after you finish sewing it it's not going to come out very well please kindly use the pin okay so when you open it out you still see the triangle are you seeing it okay now as you can see why this thing is coming out straight is because that thing i i asked you people to do why you were stitching it that initial stitching not this particular one i mean the straight one I told you guys to make sure none of them passes that particular point. That's why you see any straight like this. If actually one passes, it's not going to appear very fine. Like it's going to appear in another shape that is not good. So now look at it. We are still going to sew this particular one. Please, as you are sewing it, also make sure that here is corresponding. Are you seeing it? Make sure that here is actually corresponding. Then place it and they sew. Remember what I said, as you be sewing, you'll be sewing from here to here. So you can see I am done doing the stitching. Look at it, guys. I'm done. Then open up like this. You see that it is well stitched. So all you have to do is to remove the pins. Iron it out. Are you seeing it? Look at it. It's coming out, guys. Are you seeing it? It's coming out. Looking very, very nice. Okay. Open it out. Okay. Next thing you have to do is, it's just simple thing for you to do. First of all, finish here very, very well. Let's do the finishing. All you have to do is to fold it twice like this. Are you seeing it? Quarter, quarter inch or half, half inch. Okay. Let's do that. Then start sewing. Okay. Now when you are done stitching, next thing you have to do is sew. This, I want to show you something. This one is very, very simple and easy. Look, look. I have to do this to do it like this. Are you seeing it? When you do it like this, hold it from here. Are you seeing it? Okay. So guys, when you are done, it's still remaining one part for us to finish this stuff. When you are done, next thing you need to do, now look, we need to close these two sides. Do you understand? So for you to close these two sides, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is to open up back uh, at this very point, which we stitched previously. Now look at it, guys. Open it back and then stitch now. Stitch it all the way down. Are you seeing it? Stitch it all the way down. Do the same thing on this very part. Stitch all the way down. Now I'm starting from the damper. It's not mandatory to start. You can also start from here. Okay. Okay. Now as you guys can see, I am 100% done with the pocket. Are you seeing it? I'm 100% done. So what next thing I'm going to do, final thing is just to use my scissors, trim off this side, just to make it a bit neat. That's just the major thing. Trim it off like this. Okay. Then that is it. Now, I know some of us will be like, why can't you still make it to be neater than this? See, the truth that is here is that there is a lining that is going to cover this. So I think I've made it to the point that it's very, very neat. You know, I don't have to, you know, try to finish it up like a trouser. The trouser one is that there's nothing really covering it in the back of a trouser. So that this one is very, very much okay like this. So all you need to do is to take it to the ironing board and the iron and we are done. Please, whatever, you look at it, guys. You can now kindly put your hand like this. Are you saying it? A fizzy. Okay, whatever you've done on this one, please kindly do the same thing on the other one. Then we are going to proceed from there. 